television much of our future depends on the way we use this medium of communication Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about uh, the history and kind of the evolution of the TV. The invention of the television and its function influences historical events because of its ability to transfer information quickly and over great distances. Now the way that this video is going to go is I'm going to kind of go a little bit in depth about how the TV was uh, invented and then I'm going to talk about how it impacts historical events. All right, first, we're going to get into how was the television invented? Good question. It was actually invented by a high school student named Philo Farnsworth. Philo Farnsworth lived on a farm, and he uh, really liked messing with technology, taking things apart, and tinkering with uh, very old radios. He came up with the idea that if we can transfer sound through a signal, why can't we do that with visuals? So he drew out a sketch, and he actually showed his high school science teacher that sketch. His teacher and himself knew immediately that he had just made a massive breakthrough. Very quickly, I just want to clarify too. The concept for a television has been a thing since about 1925. Philo Farnsworth built a prototype and of course it basically became world news. It was insane. Very, very quickly, I just want to go into how that television actually works, because I'm a nerd. The way that the television works is by using something called a cathode ray tube. Basically, it's a tube with all the air sucked out of it with an electron gun in the back of it. And yes, that's what it's actually called. The electron gun fires beams of electrons at a screen that's coated in a material that glows when hit with the electrons. Basically, he said, if I can scan a line back and forth and up and down, if I can do it fast enough and have different brightness values, you can make an entire image. And that's about all I have to say about that. How does this all impact history? To be honest with you, this is actually a very obvious answer. Radio has obviously had their own kind of age where, oh, you could now hear what was going on on the other side of the world within just a few seconds of it happening. But now, because you could see what was happening also, and the fact that they were becoming more and more commercially available, it's very easy to see how and why televisions made such a huge impact. You could get wind of news very, very quickly, and you could also see it for yourself, basically. A lot of people, when they think of television, they think of entertainment, but the television is mostly useful for just obtaining information. There have been several televised events that have happened in the world, and I'm just going to give kind of a list of a lot of the major ones. And here are just some examples. The John F. Kennedy assassination obviously was a huge one, and the whole thing was broadcast on TV. One of the most major benefits of TV is that somebody could know about something that was going on with the government of their country, probably within minutes or hours of it happening, as opposed to days. The moon landing was another huge one. The Challenger explosion. And now, of course, we have the presidential debates. There was kind of a, a nice look at the history of television, its evolution, and how it works. Televisions, among a lot of things, have actually advanced the fastest. So there you go. A television is basically just a radio with a screen on it. 